Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little integration B problem from MIT. So this is an undergraduate competition that that school holds. Um, really fun, a really great opportunity to test out some integration. So if you want to give this a shot, go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into a solution. So as I was working through this, I didn't see an obvious substitution um, to make right off the bat, um, but I was looking at ways to potentially simplify it. So what I landed on is if we take this integral from zero to pi over two of one over one plus sine of x, um, notice that if we multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate, so one minus sine of x over one minus sine of x, then we get a pretty cool trig identity that pops up. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can then rewrite that, the integral of zero to pi over two, of now one minus sine of x over one minus sine squared of x dx. So the bottom now, remember um, from Pythagorean theorem, we have cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to one. So um, we can very clearly see that one minus sine squared of x must then be the same as just this cosine squared of x. So this simplifies to now we have the integral from zero to pi over two of one minus sine of x divided by cosine squared of x. All right, so let's check our uh, knowledge about some uh, derivatives here. <laughs> So I'm gonna rewrite this as the integral from zero to pi over two of one over cosine squared of x minus sine of x over cosine squared of x dx. Okay, and let's analyze this real quick and see if we can represent this a different way. So clearly one over cosine squared is secant squared of x and then we're gonna have zero to pi over two of sine of x over cosine squared of x. So uh, sine of x over cosine of x is tangent of x. And then one over cosine of x is secant of x. All right, so this is where we're checking our knowledge of our derivatives here. So do we remember what secant squared is the derivative of? Uh, hopefully you can see that that is tangent of x. And then on the right side, we have tangent times secant. So what is gives tangent secant? Well, that's just secant of x. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at these. So tangent of x, so tangent of x evaluated. So we're now gonna have to look at some improper. So limit as x approaches pi over two of tangent of x uh, minus tangent of zero. So tangent of zero is zero. So that's our first term. And we're gonna get minus the limit as x approaches pi over two of secant of x minus secant of zero. So one over cosine zero is zero. So that's just one. Okay, so then we end up with a couple guys who look like they might be a problem. So I wrote these as the limit as x approaches pi over two. So um, remember, so we have cosine in the denominator. So cosine of pi over two is zero. So both of those guys are technically going to infinity. Um, but let's look at them. So this is limit as x approaches pi over two. And this is tangent of x is sine of pi over two divided by cosine of pi over two. And this is gonna be minus the limit as x approaches pi over two of one over cosine of pi over two. And what we notice is that this just approaches one. So in fact, what I'm doing here is I'm subtracting the exact same terms. So this whole thing is going to approach zero. So my answer here is going to just be zero minus negative one, which is one. 
Okay, so either satisfying or unsatisfying, depending on your viewpoint, but we end up with the number one, and that's gonna be the answer to this integral. If you enjoyed working through this, please like and subscribe. If you have your own idea for a video, please send it to thinkthriceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working through problems, think once, think twice, and if you really get stuck, think thrice.